Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of my invasion series for Minecraft 1.10.2. Okay, so this mod pack was made by Dark Osto and it's actually several years old now. Um, I watched Direwolf20 um, play this a little while back um, and I, I downloaded it back then and played it for a bit. It was, I, I kind of found it really cool and I'm just kind of getting back into it now. I just kind of re-downloaded it because it's been a long time since I've played. Uh, now I made a couple of modifications in the um, the Raiders spawn file uh, just because I want to I don't want to rush through this pack so um, I've made the Raiders increase in difficulty every 14 days instead of every eight days so it's every two weeks they'll increase in difficulty that's not going to necessarily change how difficult this mod pack will be for me um, the crafting part of it no problem. Um, the actual survival part, I'm not the best at that, trying to fight mobs and stuff, so we'll have to do our best. Now, from what I remember and from what I've read, uh, some of the key things when you're first starting off with this game you have to remember is, one, the your Minecraft uh, character will not auto-pick up items. You have to right-click on items in the ground to be able to pick them up. Um, you can also shift, drag items uh, to and from your inventory, so you don't have to actually click each item and, and move it. Um, you can just shift drag and it'll move a whole bunch of items and I'll show you that when we're playing um, The other thing with the invasion series is Minecraft is all about mining Well, this one really isn't because you can't get any resources from mining. They all come down and you see these crates here. They all come down and um, Basically drop drop shipments from the sky. So you have to find all the nodes to uh, um, like all the uh, um drop nodes to send up a, a signal to, to get a uh, airdrop in to pick up some stuff. Uh, similarly, healing, um, you don't regenerate hearts like you normally would in Minecraft. As long as you have full health, you will regenerate your hearts, but in this, you don't. You get a certain amount, each time you eat, you get a certain amount of health back, but you can only eat until you're full. Uh, so you need healing kits, and those you can get from radio drops, which drop from the sky like this. You have to use a little radio and they'll drop you down a, a healing package which you can pick up. So those things are valuable. Um, also, there's no animals anywhere. You will not find animals on this planet. So um, you can find animal airdrops, which will drop you, I believe it drops spawn eggs. Um, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they just drop spawn eggs and then you just grab them and you can respawn, you can spawn animals in. Uh, but that's for later on. So the I, I'm just talking right now rather than actually loading in because day one is the only day you get um, that is mob free. There's no mobs on the first day. As soon as night happens, the world will be covered in mobs and we need to defend ourselves. So th common things like creepers and zombies and skeletons um, will only be found if you if there's a spawner somewhere in the world. For the most part, um, the idea is that this mod pack, there's a bunch of raiders on the planet. It's basically old Minecrafters or whatever. Um, I like to think of this series as you've been dropped on a prison world and you're fighting for survival with prisoners that have already been there for a long time. Um, so, yeah, you want to get the very first day, you want to grab a few key things. Um, and some of the mobs will be able to, to uh, break blocks. They will, if you build even like a too high wall, sometimes they'll nerd pull over your wall um, using cobblestone. Um, and speaking of cobblestone, you can't just mine stone to get cobblestone. Mining stone gets you four stone balls or four stones, which then you have to mix together with like three stone balls plus uh, or three stones uh, plus a piece of clay will give you some cobblestone. So clay is very important in this mod pack. Um, you can use clay. Um, you can use cobblestone and sorry, uh, cobblestone, gravel, and sand to make concrete, and that's your best bet to defend your base with concrete. Uh, we can make things like barbed wire later, turrets, all that kind of stuff. But when we first get in, the only way we're going to get resources is through drops, so we want to get those. We want to get weapons up and running as fast as we can, we want to get some armor as fast as we can. Uh, when we're going about the world, we want to make sure we. Uh, cannibalize anything that's of use that we find something as simple as like metal bars right if we find metal bars we're going to cannibalize them because we don't want to use six iron to make metal bars if we can avoid it right um, also later on once we get um, progress through the game we'll get a sag mill and uh, and stuff from ender io and that that will allow us to break down things like 
you know, horse like diamond horse armor, for instance, into regular diamonds. So we want to be able to collect as many items that we can break down later on um, in order to get a lot more resources later on. So there's, it's really just trying, it's basically scavenging as much as you possibly can while you're building to survive. So yeah, anyway, with that all out of the way, I'm sure there's a lot of other things that I haven't talked about, but we'll see them in game. Uh, I'm going to start off. So we're going to click single player. I'm going to create a new world. And this is going to be plan nine from crafting space as I stare at the keyboard to type because I'm an old man. And we're going to go to more world options and the seed for the world generator. Um, the whole thing that kind of got me into this is I've been watching a gamer called Glock nine and he does a lot of um, um, seven days to die. And that is um, basically a survival game, very similar to this. Graphics are obviously better because this is Minecraft. Uh, but the idea is that you, um, you're you in a zombie infested world and you have to kind of build your base up. And every seven days, a zombie horde will appear, or every, like the seventh night, a zombie horde will appear and you have to fend them off. And each every seven nights, the, the horde gets tougher and tougher and tougher and tougher. So you have to build your base to defend yourself from that. So that's kind of why I'm doing this because he kind of got me into that and I didn't want to pay 50 bucks for the game to play for a little bit. Um, I think it's 40 or $50 or something like that, Canadian. Something like that, I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to call this Glock 9. And that's going to be our seed just because he's influenced me to play the game. And if you haven't checked out Glock's 9, Glock 9's channel, I uh, suggest you go ahead and do so. He's a pretty cool guy. He seems that way anyway. Um, very interesting. And I love the... Uh, the um, um, series, the different series that he plays doing Seven Days to Die, an interesting way that he plays. It's He's kind of very, very creative in that respect. We're going to leave the bonus chest off and let's create the new world. All right, sometimes it can take a little bit to load in, uh, so just keep, bear in mind. Okay, so I'm going to whip through things some, some things really fast here. Yes, that is our bottle of tears. That's going to be part of a quest later on. So we got some creeper cookies for food, toast sandwich. These are really good for food. And we got our quest book. Now the quest book um, will help, if you've never played this game before, it will help guide you through stuff. So we're gonna manually submit our kitchen knife here and we're gonna pick up a fire ax. Hooray! And there's a lot of hoorays for this. So the first thing we wanna do, uh, some of the first quests, and I'm gonna just burn through these really fast because I kinda I remember and know what I have to do here. So um, the first couple, re quests are basically wooden sticks you want to pick up wood and you want to pick up sticks so that's we got spawn right next to a tree normally uh, i don't get this lucky when i spawn in normally it's like a nightmare thing so gravity is real in this game so as you can see if i was standing underneath that branch i'd take damage which i don't want to do so i'm just going to move out of the way here each time yeah so be careful when you're cutting down trees i've taken up to two full bars of damage from falling leaves so it can be disastrous if you're not careful. Um, just be careful. What? Oh, you landed on there. You landed on there. Come on. So we can get stuff to fall that way too, right? All right. So how are we doing here? 14 sticks, 18. Uh, we want to get a few more sticks here. Yeah, be careful. So we need uh, 32 sticks, which we can get from chopping wood too. I don't have to spend all my time getting wood. Um, but I like to just have my wood blocks for use for wood and pick up sticks for stick use. Yeah, I see the how the block slides too. Nerd pulling on for us is going to be extremely hard. Uh, actually, let's leave it like this for now because we don't have a lot of time. Okay, so the next thing we need, or we're going to need, is string. And these will give us some string. Uh, we want to try and get as, well, not a, as much string as we possibly can. Um, obviously, because we can't get wool, we have to try and get it a different way. Nice, got some more sticks here. Um, so in order to do that, the best way to do it is um, 
through getting string and four string will make one wool. So we need three string for a bed and we need, uh, oh, there's a chest down there. So you'll find um, crafting tables throughout the world. You cannot actually make a crafting table. So you have to find them and which forces you to kind of go all over the map to get stuff. Take the gold horse armor, the rest of the stuff we don't need. Definitely want that. We'll take this. We don't need the shield. Actually, let's take the chest. Uh, we'll take all three chests. Nice. Stick. Perfect. So, like I said, day one, really gathering resources. How much? We got 23. So we need um, 12 for a bed. And if we're going to make a backpack, we need another 16 string. So backpacks can be made relatively easily. It's just a chest uh, for leather, which you can get from turning rotten flesh from killing the raiders. Um, oh, I'm going to see if we can find a few of these now while we've got uh, the time. Let's just... There's a house over there we can start in. Oh, another one. So these are the drops I was talking about. Don't need that right now. Another one. I don't want to go too far this way. Uh, we've only got a certain amount of time. I need other drops here. Ooh. No other drops. Okay. Make our way back. We've only got a certain, like I said, we've only got a certain amount of time before nightfall happens and the mobs start spawning. So we want to spend as much time as we possibly can gathering resources. Oh, got another one down here. Nice. Oh, another one. Okay, okay, there's the first drop. Now, in order to pick these metal containers up, we need a, we need a um, iron pickaxe or some kind of pick, which we don't have. So we're just going to grab everything out of these bandages. Nice. Some armor. Now, sometimes you'll get um, very basic weapons in these, but not a lot. Um, like the starting item kind of weapon. Okay, there's the airdrops I was talking about. Those are for uh, uh, med kits and stuff. I should probably do one right now. Well, we got we got a little bit of healing. So this canned food um, can come in handy if you don't have a lot of food. Like we can use this. Dump the can. We don't need that right now. You can cut up those cans and make them into other resources. We don't need cocoa beans. Um, so as you can tell, it's really quiet. There's one mob that spawned. I have no idea what it is or what it is. It could be a fish. There's snails in the game too, so there's a few like non-combat mobs in the game. Let's grab these. Have I got any iron yet? I got four zinc. I got five iron. Okay, I don't need this. Let's grab the healing. What else have we got in here? Redstone. We definitely need that. Um, lapis. What can we ditch here? We don't need the spam. Spam, spam. Okay, we got more iron. Nice. So with the first bits of iron, I'm going to use my first chest here because I want to do um, this. I don't want to waste all of these uh, uh, drops here. So what can we ditch? We don't need those. So let's grab... See now, once I place that... Um, problem is once you place the uh, workbench and you use it, you can't pick it up again. It turns into sticks. So you just want to basically um, use it when you absolutely have to. Now that was kind of, I, I mean, it, normally I wouldn't do that um, because using a workbench for one operation is not an efficient way to be doing things. Um, but because it's the start and I want to grab all this because this is going to be a lot of iron later on. So we had like, what, 20 of these? How many of these dropped? 15? Yeah, we got five of them, right? Yeah, 15 of these things dropped. So that's like 30 iron later on. So we want to make sure we get them all. Once we get the sag mill up and running, this will be 30 iron. 
right now they're useless to us but not that useless later okay so we got some iron left over um, see if we can find another airdrop I want to try and get a couple more pieces of iron because um, if I remember correctly there there are oh there's a chest over here we can get um, what do we got here health XP boost diamonds more iron perfect I think it's eight iron will make us an iron cross but we're gonna set up a shop in this house I'm just gonna go in here real quick and drop some stuff off uh, that door can anyone get in here no they can't okay this one they can so we're gonna drop stuff here uh, we'll come back in a minute and grab it so we're gonna block ourselves up in this house now the mobs can open doors and just walk right in on you so yeah you need to block up the doors let's make sure we got enough string on us come over and get this crafting table I don't know if there's a crafting table in that house so I want to make sure we get it here there was a lot of good stuff in that chest in there though I'm gonna grab all this okay let's get back to the house so we'll probably stay here for, for a couple of nights anyway and then uh, afterwards uh, if we've got enough backpacks and stuff we will move on any clay in here oh we got another drop here hopefully it drops before nightfall so let's do a couple things I'm gonna grab some of this make it so we can get out of here if we have to that's seven so let's go in make sure these doors are all blocked off okay I don't see any holes in the walls what's this one okay another door and another door and that's it there's a bed right click on it for setting our spawn point you cannot sleep at night in this game so yeah that's uh, you want to make sure that you've got your spawn set somewhere you can only have one spawn too so come on drop here we go let's hurry and get this hopefully we can get some more iron so obviously iron is a key resource as I've been hoping for it here in the game as it is in pretty much all Minecraft bandages another key resource okay we don't need this we don't need this thought I saw a mob there for a second all right let's get in the house they're gonna start spawning here in a minute there will be a whole lot of them all right let's move in here and we got a chest here I wish this would auto how we had an auto stacker here but we don't okay we got rotten flesh so we can make leather right away let's just dump this stuff in here we'll figure out what we're gonna take later we're gonna take a bunch of stuff as we leave so let's move everything from here into the other chest and we want to grab this and this now in theory you could live here at the start of the game and be okay but not for very long and the reason is because we want to put this iron and this one on um, is because the mobs will as they progress and become more and more dangerous they'll just burn this place to the ground and yes they, they will burn down wood they will chop it down uh, it'll get horrible in here so we cannot stay here but we need to do a few things looks like we've got a crafting table already here so we need iron ingots where's my sticks put this in there Oh yeah duct tape is great too because it'll repair your items so the more duct tape you can find or make the better off you're, you'll be in the long run so let's go here uh, okay it's been a while since I played so I'm trying to remember how I think it's this way we need to make two things right this iron bindings and then if we do this yeah there we go strong iron crossbow so I strongly recommend if you can get nine or eight iron to make a strong iron crossbow right at the very very beginning 
The reason being is that uh, this thing is worth its weight in gold. It will one-shot mobs uh, starting off at the game. Uh, and I'm going to use my other two iron. I'm going to use it up right now, and we're going to make a sword. We don't necessarily have to make a sword. Ooh, it's a rare model. Um, but uh, we definitely want to have something that we can attack the mobs with. So, and this fire axe, if you notice, it says 1.5 speed, 7 attack damage. This is 1.6 speed, 6 attack damage. Does less damage overall. Um, but the benefit of it, and these guys have started to show up already, the benefit of it is that... Um, um, what am I doing here? Let me grab my wood first. Where is it? Uh, the benefit of the sword is it can hit multiple opponents. It's a little little bit faster, so it's not so bad. Look at him. The guy with his arms up in the air jumping around, he's a screamer. Once we knock one of these things out to attack these guys, he's just going to start yelling at us. Uh, okay, so uh, you can't get wood in a classical way. Notice we've got a ch we have to make a chopping block here. So we're going to put a chopping block down. And we're okay from the we're safe from these guys for now. They'll generally try and go wherever you are. They're up on top of the building right now. Because there's gravity, we just can't put a block up here because it'll just fall. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, it makes building your own structures difficult. If you use concrete, you can do it, but you can't do it with anything else but really concrete. Okay, so claiming our rewards for these quests. Hooray! And we finally get a crude hatchet. Hooray! And we get a rickety crafting table and some oat wood planks and a livestock chest. Gonna whip through this relatively quickly, like I said. Uh, we need to get stuff going. So, get these out of the way. We need this thing down here. We need these guys down. Um, because I want to make... Actually, before we do anything with my sticks, I'm gonna make 64 crossbow bolts so we have them. Um, cool. Alright, so wood. You have to chop it on the chopping block, and depending on how good your tool is, will dictate how much wood you get back. So we've, we've cut three and we got six wood back. So a, a flint hatchet will only give you um, a certain amount of wood. So one of our quests is making a chest, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we need to do... Oops. So we got to hit it four times. Three times with an iron um, axe and twice with a diamond axe. So we're going to make a drying rack here. Remember how to make this stuff now. I played so much Minecraft that a lot of these mods are in a uh, variety of Minecraft ones. So we're going to dry this leather up. Now we're going to try and get some more from these guys. Let's just see how generous they want to be here. Listen to them out there. So we need this. We're going to need 16 string. So when you're crafting, try to avoid using your crafting table if you can use a 4x4 grid. Uh, because the crafting table only has a certain number of operations before it breaks. So these guys can't get in here. Yeah, hear him? There he is. So it's relatively easy, like I said early on. Look at him. He's screaming. Look at him. Oh, you're so cool, buddy. Look at him. That shut them up. At least they'll tell you they're coming. Um, so it's easy to defend your base early on. These guys will bring you a lot of re resources. Well, not a lot, but I mean enough. He's carrying a uh, heart. And that heart, uh, if you have a glass bottle, you can pick it up in a, in a uh, heart jar. Or in a gla with a glass bottle and it'll turn into a heart jar. That gives you one full bar of health. We got more guys coming here. I'm going to trade this out for... Uh... Okay, where's my dirt? Don't see any red dots. Thank you. So we don't get any, any additional health from that, but let's do that again. Um, but still, they're bringing us stuff. Now there's cyberware later on. I don't really need the human arm at this moment. We got some more string. Um, okay, a couple of sticks. Sticks are actually relatively valuable. It's strange. You think st sticks wouldn't be, but they are. I always carry them with me because I have to always be making crossbow bolts. Later on, we're going to be making stone bolts. Uh, a little tougher. Oop. Peas seed. So there's a lot of plants in the game. 
for 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 growing crops and stuff. And if the mobs, um, <laughs> if the mobs know you're planting crops, they will go ahead and um, if they can get to them, they'll pick them up and take them. So I'll rip them up out of the ground. Okay, we're gonna make a can opener here real quick. Once again, needing a stick because we're gonna open this can of uh, baked beans to get some food. Oops. Uh, so once again, doing it in the 2x2 uh, two two crafting grid. Nice. So you can save these cans, uh, which I normally do. All right, we need to make a couple of backpacks here. So we have another chest, yes. And then let's make another, because the backpack's only gonna hold, a non-upgraded backpack, that is. It's only gonna hold um, 18 items, which doesn't seem like a lot. How are we doing here? All right, there's our first four. Get some more of that drying up. And it's really simple to make a backpack. It's basically four wood, or four wool, sorry. And four of those, and one of these. And we got ourselves a backpack that we can just drop stuff in now. So we're gonna put in all of our metals. Because like I said, we can't mine for these. So they are very rare. And I know the, uh, the slime ball is not a metal, but I, I just keep it in this resource chest with the metals and stuff. Uh, lapis, what else we got? Redstone, black quartz. We might as well throw the horse armors in there and this, if they'll fit, coal. Uh, all the important stuff. Those guys, that and that. Let's put this in there, this in there, and that. So there's our first backpack. Oh, we got we forgot to put the lead in. All right, so there's our first backpack full. And we'll wait for this to, to, uh, to go again. Let's move this out of the way. Sun's coming up. We're not ready to move yet. But we want to go out and get some more stuff from outside. We're going to take a walk around and see what we can find. These guys aren't that tough, tough right now. And with our crossbow, we'll be dealing a lot of damage on them. So your weapons will level up as you go. There we go. All right, let's drop all of this stuff in here. For now, because we are going out here. Put that there. Going to pick up the rotten flesh and the fence and the bone probably yeah okay there's another drop it's gonna get our crossbow out now the other thing I'm really afraid about here is dogs since I'm not good at combat if they sneak up on you they can do a lot of damage so I'll watch this don't even know I'm here boom the farther away your opponent is um, I think the more damage you do, I think it does surprise damage or something. Oh, another one. So some of these mobs that spawn um, can be considered good guys, I guess. Because they'll spawn, they'll have a green name, and then um, they'll start attacking the other mobs. Nice. Now these guys move really slow. They move faster at night. Marginally faster, like maybe 50% faster at night. But the problem is, is that there's so many of them, they can overwhelm you really quick if you're not careful. So there's four guys here. A couple more guys. Still coming up. Another one. They will also rob these uh, drops. They'll rob chests. They, they, these guys just think of them as evil Minecraft players because they'll take stuff from everywhere. If you leave your house open, they'll go in your house and steal everything. I don't know if they'll steal everything, but they'll steal a lot of things, which is why you always got to lock it up. Or at least make it so that they can't get in. Okay, it's a couple of drops. I was hoping for some good iron here. It's kind of nice to have that lava right by the house. Limits where they can go. I should have maybe used those diamonds to make a diamond sword. Looks like we got some iron there. Another, maybe one more piece. What do we get? Four iron, not bad. I was hoping for a lot more than that though. 
Uh, what do we want to focus on today? We want to wander around a bit, I think. See if we can find any chests. Going to get some experience. So your weapons and armor will gain experience each time you use them. And they will level up. It's the best way. It's kind of like limited enchanting. It's the best way to get uh, your weapons more powerful. Now I suggest um, not leveling them up until they get to level 3 and then get the ethereal trait. The ethereal trait um, gives you a chance to get health back with every hit. So each time you hit somebody it gives you a chance to get some health back. Wow. Should have brought the backpack. Uh, we don't need peaches. Don't need spam. Let's leave the pineapple for now. Don't need these. It's got to be really selective. Once we have a back, like, there's a few things we can get. Later on when you get treated wood. Um, what's up, buddy? Oh, there's a bear over there. The last thing you want to do is get attacked by a bear. But, that's a quest, so... Killing the bear is a quest. Now, there's a dog over here, too. Yeah, there we go. So you can pick up bear claws. Which will turn into something called a Paxel. Which is a good general tool to be carrying around. It does a bunch of stuff. It'll mine. Okay, it'll pick up gravel and it'll uh, pick up wood and everything. We don't need either of these. Take that. More lead. Oh yeah, diamonds. Alright, cool. Let's hope we get some more diamonds. I'd love to be able to uh, <clears throat> make a diamond sword. You can even make a diamond crossbow too, but at, in the early stages of the game, it's kind of overkill. Later in the game, we'll have lots of diamonds. We can just get it then. Alright, let's get these. Get back to the house. It's been relatively... Uh, oh, good, more iron. It's been relatively uh, quiet out here. I don't know whether it's just we got a good area or what it is, but... Uh, sometimes you'll spawn in an area and the mobs are just ridiculous. Like, there's nothing you can do. There's just so many of them. Every time you go out, they're just all over the place. I think we're okay here. Just worried about dog spawns. I've come up over the hill a couple times into like four dogs. And that is bad. Okay, we're going to worry about this clay over there. And clay here. No, that's not clay. Going to worry about getting clay later. The um, thing about the clay is that uh, there's piranha in the water. So yeah, I don't want to be... Oops, let's just take this out keep that. Uh, there's pond in the water. I don't want to be going in the water unless I have to. Alright, so let's grab our uh, backpack. Put this in here for now. And then we can just shift and just drag over these and they'll just get deposited right in the backpack if there if there's already an item there. We don't have iron, so let's do this. So we got seven diamonds now. That's pretty good. And this will either give us five or ten depending on if we crit when we get it uh, going. So we got this. Put more in. We can get another backpack up and running now. So let's do that. Uh, where here we got here? Chest. And where's our wool? Here it is. Okay, so we got to figure out what we're going to be putting in our second backpack. Most likely our healing and our food. Um, let's do this. Backpack one can go there. I don't really want this nail bat. Uh, we'll let some guys congregate outside. So that's healing. These just generally like heal like a quarter of this. They don't heal very much, but um, they're worth having. If you need little, you can make them too, right? It's just easy. It's like um, a sapling, uh, two of any of these, and a bowl. So simple. Um, okay, so that's that. This is food. I'm just taking the pea plant, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have to, but. I don't know if it's all going to fit in here. Let's see what we got here. These we can leave. I mean, we don't have to take them. Those bandages we definitely want. We want these. Plaster. Actually, let's keep one of these out. We're going to carry it with us when we go around here. Throw the pea plant in from that. That we're going to cook. That can go in there. That can go in there. Apples? Nah, I don't know. We really need apples. Probably. We don't really have any food. So let's drop that in there. 
Okay, so there's backpack two. Get the third one up and running, and then we can get all our miscellaneous stuff. Duct tape, all these things. Oop, there's a heart. There's some more plaster. Uh, let's pull this out, and this out, and put this and this in. Oh, we don't need the apples. I don't know why I'm... I can always get a lot more. Um, let's just put some stuff in here for now. This we want to keep on us. This can go in. Sure, sure. Yep. Yep, for now. Um, okay, so there's that. So, any leather items like this, you can use a piece of iron and two sticks in a workbench. Um, so sticks on a di diagonal from top left. The top left corner is a stick, the middle is a stick of the crafting table. So let me just show you here real quick. So it's stick, stick, piece of iron, and it gives you um, cutting, a cut, engineer's cutting tools. And those cutting tools um, can be used to cut up anything that's made of leather, as long as it's not damaged. Hey, buddy. What's up? He came to visit, but he didn't want to stay. Actually, let's just go and do this and grab a bit of experience. Three free pieces of experience. Yeah. So if we go over here, it's, you can see here experience is 43 out of 50 now in the crossbow. And we got 93 out of 100 in the sword. So seven more hits with the sword. And we will have the ability to get... Um, the ethereal trade on this thing. So I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna grab our soda. Mmm, delicious. Living on pop. All right, so both of these two, um, I'll get to it. In the quest book, there's recycling quests, which we can use for these. I'm not going to the quest book right now. I don't wanna keep popping quests, um, simply because, um, it's just going to give us more items to carry around, more things that I don't want to carry at the moment. Um, we can get the quest when we get to where we're going in our final, uh, when we find a place for our final house, which we're going to have to do. Now, getting a house, or once you decide a location for a house, um, I think one of the key things is locating it near a bunch of water. I think the more water, um, the better. And the reason is, is um, that when spawns happen at nighttime, you'll mostly get piranha spawns and you'll be facing a lot less mobs. So if you can build on a peninsula and only have one real walkway entrance to your house, that's really the best way to go. All right, so we're gonna grab a bunch of our other tools here, things that we're gonna need later on. Don't really need that right now. This is a quest, we'll take those. That's XP boost three, we'll take that. We definitely need these guys. So let's see what we can put in this backpack here. Let's get all the horse armor in there. The drop, this chest piece and this and this. Um, let's put that in there, that in there. Bear claws we wanna keep. Furnace chests and workbench. We're gonna need to make a whole nother, uh, we don't have enough string. We need to make a whole nother uh, thing here. So let's leave one of these out. Whole another backpack. This is our healing. That can go in there. We got room for one more item. What do we want to take with us? Guava soda. No, we want to take the toast. Toast has got really good healing ability, so we'll take that. So there's three backpacks used up. Come on, guys. We're going to take these when we go, too. These are kind of nice lighting sources. We can find glowstone everywhere else in the world. We don't have to worry about it. Oh, Christ. It's a rat. So rats are really annoying at nighttime because whatever you have in your hand will attack you and steal it and run away. During the day, they're harmless. At night, completely different story, and they can get through here. So we're going to fight them with a fist. I hear you, buddy. Where are you? Wasting out on all this good experience here. Three, four, five... Six. One more, guys. Come on. Seven. So that should level our sword up, right? Yep. Ethereal. Nice. We got a chance to get health back. 
I, I don't trust that rat. I'm just gonna punch these guys to death. Come on, you guys. Hey, it's Direwolf20. What's up, buddy? Looks like a cop. Card of three. Waha! Lots of body parts. Whoops. I want that guy to show up over here. Where is he? Twelve. We got almost enough. Wait, is there any... Sometimes you'll find... Nah, not in here. I was hoping I was going to find... Um, piece of wool. Can we turn these into wool? Don't think we can. Guess not. Would have been nice. Can we turn it into string? No. Um, you. Crusher, we can turn it into string and die. Painting machine. That's it, eh? Yeah, pretty useless, I guess. Yeah, so those rats, man. Pain in the ass. Yeah, so like I said, my recommendation is a few quests you kind of want to get at the beginning done. The wood quest, the chopping block, because you kind of need that um, to get things going. Come on, guys. Hey, what's up, buddy? Punch you in the face. Let's do this. We need XP for this thing. Boom. Boom. Hey, what's up? Crossbow's at level two. That fail, gamer. Yeah, see, he died. That guy, I don't know if you saw that by the water there. The guy died over there from uh, a rat. Or from a piranha, I mean. That's Grover's head. Okay, can't not take that. That fail, gamer's head. Let's put it right here. Ah, I thought it looked more like Grover, but it do doesn't, so. My bad. Okay, we need four of these. Ah, we're short one string. Short one string! Really? That rat must be caught. I hear him. They can climb, too, so he must be caught somewhere. Huh. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so once we get that last backpack up and running, we're going to put our leather in it. Probably going to put these in it. Because uh, we can chop those up later. The bear meat, we'll cook that up. Just need one more string. Need to take the food with us. And then we're going to rob this place of whatever we can. Like, take these, I think. We're gonna move on. Don't know where we're gonna go. Probably north. Let's just go north. Let's just make an uh, effort to go north. I want to try and find the coast. I've tried in in past um, playing Minecraft to try and figure out. There we go. How they determine where the ocean will be. So sometimes I'll like think, oh, I'll just go east, or I'll go west, or I'll follow a river, or something like that, and it never works out. So we're just going to, let's just go north. I live in Canada, so let's just go north. Frozen wastelands. All right, let's get this last backpack up and running here. We might get enough for another one, but probably not. All right, so we want to put in... Rotten flesh can stay out. The wood can, well, we want to chop some before we go. Uh, what do we got here? More rotten flesh. We'll take these, we'll take this. Um, just making a quick decision here. I don't think we need the rest of that stuff. Just leave it behind. These we can break down. Oops, backpack first. 
these we can break down for a quest we can cut these up that's extra food that we can put in there the fence we don't need we'll put down before we go let's cut some wood up before we leave I should have probably made a um, should have probably made a uh, iron axe here but we'll just make do with this one for now can always chop a lot more wood we bust out of here in the morning gonna seal it up because this is our spawn base right now we still haven't made a bed but we'll have to make one where we're going so we're gonna pick up some string as we go along and make sure we keep some uh, frig really make sure we keep some wood on us get a few more of these crap I'm getting too nervous here the day could end up being a complete disaster and we just end up back here. One thing we haven't found that I want to find is what's called a magical tether. So we're actually we're going to leave all this stuff here. Uh, magic tether is great because it'll teleport you back to uh, wherever you're tethered to. Nine of these I think is enough. Yeah, 64, nice. 65, whatever. So that we gotta, we, you can find that in a chest. Let's leave this here so that rat doesn't steal it. Morning coming. What's up, buddy? Okay, I got 64 left. So we're gonna head north, which is that away. Gonna go up to that tower. Look at, they all just showed up. They all just showed up. Just as I was getting ready to leave. And there's a dog out there. Not anymore. Let's get out of here. Okay, you can see that mobs are in the water right now. It's piranhas. Going to stay out of the water. Don't really care about grabbing the experience either. There's plenty of experience to be had in this game. It's not like you're ever going to like not get experience. Crossbow up. Crossbow's at the ready. Okay, we're going to bust out of here. Go north. How much string do we have now? 15. Not bad. I want to see if we can get enough for a backpack and for a uh, making a break across this river here. Prawners are nasty. They don't do a lot of damage if you have armor, but uh, they're just they attack fast. And they're just super nasty. So we want to get enough string for a bed and for another backpack. See if we can find some clay on the way too, so we don't have to get it later. We're not going to work on any drops. I think we've got enough drops for now. Let's check out what's in this chest. I'm really hoping for a magical tether. Otherwise, we're going to be spending our nights in a place like this. Which is not necessarily ideal. Oh, there's a village up here. What's up, guys? So villages can work out... If you can find one in an early game, they can work out rather well because the mobs will attack the villagers first so they'll stay away from you while you do stuff I mean some of them will attack you dogs for instance will always attack you because they're assholes um, but they will be more inclined to go after villagers so you can spend time looting it's really whoever they see first uh, 21. Okay, I want to find... I want to get dog hides. Great thing about dog hides is they... Um, what's up, guy? See how they're going after the villagers? They don't care about me. Great thing about dog hides is if I can get four... Oh. So, we just do this.
He didn't give us a high, did he? Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, we're going to go up here. This is a great place to find stuff that we need. Gonna grab a bunch of this. So how many is that now? Seven, that's perfect. Another backpack and a, oh yeah. So that's a backpack and a um, bed for later. Okay, excellent. Shovel, pickaxe, pickaxe, we'll take, we'll take this. Don't need the bow, take this. I really wanted just a regular axe. Nope. Okay, where's our backpack here? This one, no, that one's our metals. This one I think has the chests in it. No, that's our healing. God, we got so many backpacks now. Uh, that can go there. Right, that's it. And then in here, we're going to put our tools that we don't need right now. Uh, that can go in there. Let's just put that in there for now. Well, leave, yeah, no, leave it out. Okay, we need to get moving. We can't, uh, can't be lingering in places like this. We can leave the books. We can always get books later. These, these chests just have uh, wheat in them, which we don't really need right now. Where are you going? Huh. That was interesting. So there's the stone balls you get. Oh, you want me. Thanks, buddy. Uh, not much else in this town. Wait, is that a... Uh, that looks like a blacksmith. God, you gotta be really close to these guys. Oh, you had iron. This guy's looking at me, though. Don't want to get caught in here with like five guys coming in on me. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, the ender. Don't need those. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Shoot. A little bit of health back. There we go, another one. Early game, man. That ethereal is worth its weight in gold. This is what I mean about getting caught, right? You get caught in the wrong place at the wrong time and you're in trouble. There's those stupid rats. Ow! You bastard! We need to get out of here. Oh, dog. So even though we got a we got a good crossbow, eat some cookies. Got a good crossbow, some okay armor. I mean we're not like totally loaded out here. Don't need that leather armor anymore. Um, we got okay armor, but still we can get killed real quick if we're not careful. Burner ring. Oh no, angst you. So the other thing is torches will start fires. If you put them on a wooden uh, object, they'll start a fire. Uh, are we getting close to the coast? Maybe. Nope. Looks like a lake. Uh, it could be the coast. Is that a dog over there? thought I saw a dog. Um, the other thing, too, that I haven't mentioned yet is uh, Herobrine's a thing in this world. So as much as he was a a uh, phony ghost story in uh, the world of Minecraft, he is alive in this world. Because, just because, just to make things that much harder. And he's an asshole. Total asshole in this game. 
always likes to get you at the most inopportune times. I mean, he's a total jerk to begin with anyway. But in this particular one, he's really bad. Well, at least I find he is. I'm not the best Minecraft player, so... Well, combat for Minecraft. I can, I can build stuff pretty good. It's not artistic, but it's functional. Oh, are we coming close to the... We might be coming close to the coast. Oh, looks like we might be. Hey, hooray for going north. I was really hoping we would get lucky before the end of the day. All right, now. we got to find a good place to build a house. And it's going to be like a peninsula. Ooh, that's a good peninsula over there. And it's even got clay. It's not big enough. That's got clay too. Uh, clay and gravel. How much time do we have before the end of the day? A little bit. I'm not that worried because we can just go out on a... Uh, like one of these little bits out here. Throw some torches down and we'll be okay for the night. Like I said, most of the spawns will end up being piranha. As long as we're not close to the edge of the water, they won't jump out and get us. So this is what? Okay. I don't know if we're going to find what we want up here. This could just be a big inland lake too, right? Oh, chest. Chest over lava, really. Rescue the stuff that we need. And the sun's going down. So we're going to make our way back to a relatively open area. We're going to go on that little jutting little isthmus out there. Or the not, or peninsula, sorry. Whatever you want to call it. This must be my lucky day. I still remember that from Little Rascals. Yeah, not the new version of Little Rascals, the original. Teacher asks Spanky, Can you use Ithmuth in a sentence? And he goes, It must be my lucky day. Teacher was like, What? Have I not te taught you anything, kid? All right, we're going to go out here and hit our F7. I mean, we could start building here, too. Just so we can see. Light up and avoid spawns. So collecting torches, once again, uh, it may not seem like a, that important thing to do. Just because it's torches, right? You just make them out of coal. But coal is like, you can't mine for it. So... You gotta, like, pick it up. Alright, let's do that. Let get things organized here. Ultra Rare Ender. Definitely want to use that later. Okay, let's get any metals that we have in our backpack. Let's keep our eye open for mobs. 14 iron now. This was a loose backpack. We didn't put anything in here that doesn't belong, right? No, that can go in there. Uh, stitch this. Put the duct tape in. Bones can stay out. Put the ender in for now. I hear mobs. They're like in the trees there. I want to make another backpack. Which means we got to drop down a crafting table here. It's probably fine. So we got enough leather. We just need a chest here. And that's in here? Right? The third one? Right. Just so paranoid. I know I'm by the water and there's lots of fish. I just get paranoid when you can't see anything. The nights in this game are extremely brutal. And I don't mean brutal as in you get attacked by a lot of stuff. I mean brutal as in you can't see a damn thing. Alright, I'm going to drop all this in here. 
Yeah, let's make some more bolts. Another 36. Guy spawned over there. Now we're going to try. Uh, let's do the. We don't really need the dirt though anymore. So you can get um, flint from uh, gravel, obviously, but you can also. We do this real quick. I don't know if this is common in Minecraft, but you can use three flint to make, or sorry, three gravel to make one flint. So if you need flint badly, you can. So you can make easy flint tools, right? So uh, what's the axe again? I think it's this plus a string, and then two of these plus a string to make a pickaxe. So we're going to start picking up some materials here, so we're not wasting time. We're going to pick up some gravel because we want to make concrete as soon as we get to wherever we're going to go and make our house. And mobs can't spawn on concrete. So it's kind of a bonus. I'm going to try to get a stack of 64. And then we'll need a stack of 64. Heard a dog. Heard two dogs. Come on, guys. Come on. Get out of that water. I want you to give me your leather. I don't want to go in and get it. Come on. No leather? Did I kill the other one? No, he's right there. Come on, buddy. He's caught up on something. Yeah, well, I'll wait for him to come over. Anyway, so we need 64 gravel. We need 64... Um, Down. Let's put another torch down just in case. And we need 16 sand. And that'll give us four stacks of concrete, which is plenty to start building a house with. So there's enough of that. It's annoying to have to like right click to pick up clay. I hear you. Come on, buddy. Come on. Here, boy. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? You are. Got leather for me? Got a heart. I'll take the heart. A bit of food. Yeah, so as I was saying, it's just annoying to pick up clay. So I try and like right click as I'm going. It works for single blocks. Doesn't work for clay for some reason. Like stone it works for. You can like right click right away. Right after you dig it up. And it works perfectly. But for, for some reason for clay it doesn't. It's like individual balls. Anyway, no big deal. We got it. Now we don't have enough concrete. We're going to do this though just to save space. We can ditch this if we have to. Might as well grab some more. We've got time before morning. So you can see the major difference between here and the house as far as mob spawns go. It's like really quiet here. So what do we got here? Another 56, 57. Might as well get some more of this. The less resources we have to grab later on in the game, the better. shovel. Don't really need it, but 57. 
59, 61, 2, 3, 4. Nope, 4. That should do it, right? Two stacks, perfect. Clay, lots of clay. Just need to get some stone tomorrow. So I think we make our way, let's have a look, where, where are we in nightwise here? It's almost morning. So let's have a look at the map here. Yeah, this is, looks like it's an inland lake, which isn't too bad. There's like a tower over here, something up here. I have no idea what that is. Make our way around. Um, it looks like it's a big lake. It would still be okay not being on the coast setting up here you can see how quiet it is like if we build out into the water we'd be just fine so worst case scenario we come back here we can start building on this location it's not a, like a huge peninsula but it's gonna it'd be nice enough this can be our main fort base and then we'll build out into the water to do all our other stuff with good the sun's coming up here so we're gonna pick up all our torches to move on uh, put that up here and then we'll get out of here. I want it to be light enough that I can at least see mobs. Don't leave any resources behind if you can completely avoid it. Like I can't pick this up because it'll turn to sticks, but I'll leave it here just because if we're coming back um, to this area, then we can use it. Uh, later on, uh, as the game progresses, the uh, fire starter mobs will come out and they'll burn everything. So they'll burn if they're if they're in the uh, spawns if you're like in the loaded chunk zone spawn radius like around where you are and the chunk is loaded and there's a there's a uh, chest or a anything in there there's my doggies they'll burn it burn workbenches burn chests burn everything they're pyromaniacs and if you've got a building made of wood forget it they're just going to burn your building i didn't even see this i should probably grab it but I'm not going to if you're worried about dogs fighting them in the water is a good idea thank you for the health um i'm not the best like i said but if you go in the water they have a very, very difficult time swimming to you. Oh, one more. Nice. All we need is one. All right, let's get back this way. So at least they got lots of wood around here. I mean, we could just keep going north rather than staying here. I'm a rambling man. I'm doing what I can. I don't necessarily like um, being near forested areas. It's hard to see mobs. Is that a chest over there? No, it's a wood stump. Oh, there's some iron bars. Later on, when we get into power generation, like getting this transformer would be a good idea, but right now we just need the bars. We gotta make some... Uh, water strainers and you need two bars per strainer you want to have at least three strainers going uh, you can get a half decent amount of resources out of just straining water great thing about it is you can get things like barbed wire um, redstone clay different types of stone um, every material except for iron um, I, like, I like getting the barbed wire though it's just less resources you have to spend to make it And then there's later on you need these for um, making machine chassis for your Ender IO gear. So the more you have, like I said, every six of these, or every 16 of these is six iron. Less iron you need to spend later on. All right, we're going to keep moving north. We've got some more dogs down here. Come on, buddy. 
Line them up, knock them down. Now we do have our bread in here. Where do we put our bread? There it is. Let's bring it out. We're going to need some food now. That jerky jerk's coming at us. So we hope those dogs dropped. It's Notch, by the way. Hope uh, those dogs dropped some doggy leather. And it does not look like they did. Um, whoa! Should not be using that weapon. Got lucky there. That's not a dog, it's a plant. I think I killed an ally. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, they're starting to spawn like crazy out here. We haven't gotten to the drones yet. That'll be coming soon enough until we find a good place to stay. All right, so I'm thinking we're going to have to build near the water here somewhere. It's really the only thing we can do. There's a prana over there. They're relatively easy to kill. They're just freaking annoying as hell. Really hoping for some more dogs. That actually might not be bad over there either. The only thing is, is that island right there too, right? I think this thing is leveled up too. Sure has. Sure has. All right, we're going long on this first episode because I want to get things sorted away here. Yeah, I don't think that's really what we, where we want to go. Well, it's not that bad, I guess. It is kind of like an island. Big thing up there. Readily available stone. Difficult for the mobs to get to us, but also difficult for us to get off the island. It does kind of stretch this way though, so it is not an inland lake. It is the coast. I'm gonna grab some of this. All right, so we got some of that. I'm gonna need that for later. Leave the drop. What is this? It's an island. It's a big island. That's kind of a possibility. If we get far enough out there. I wonder. Lots of readily available resources. Plenty of places for, for um, you saw that branch fall, right? Or this thing. Uh, plenty of places for um, piranha to spawn. Yeah, it is an inland lake. I don't think we're going to find much better. Maybe over there? Like right here? That's like right there. I just don't like the idea of having to go back and forth across the water here. And now, of course, piranha have spawned. Where's the sun? We have enough time to make it over there. I don't think we do. Oh, maybe. If you go real fast. Let's try it. Make sure you kill those guys. Keep your stick on the ice. Don't get beat. Oh, there's chests here too. Golden apple. Christ, I got no room left for anything. Sure. Let's grab the chests. Gonna need those. What else do we got here? A couple more golden apples. 
See, we're not going to make it over there now. The Bruce, eh. Don't see any prana yet. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, right now, I wish we had those dog boots. We could move so much faster. All right, we're going to get our way over there. And then we're going to set up base. I think that'll be the place we go. There's really no, I, I don't see anything else. I mean, we could continue traveling around forever, but like I said, the more you travel, uh, the more time you spend wasting like this, um, the mob level will get tougher and tougher. And pretty soon it'll be unfeasible to like really survive in this world. I heard you. Ow, he came right out of the water and got me. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? Right, perfectly, that's perfectly. Perfect, that's good for, uh, good for two stacks. Now, I don't like the fact that this is a big hill here. But, we can deal with that. This isn't too bad. We'll build out into the water. All right, F7, let's get our torches up here. And we will call this episode a success. Got here without dying horribly. Once we get the concrete laid down, uh, concrete is resistant to mob spawns, so we won't have to worry about that happening. Okay, and along the shoreline, Five left, four left, three left. Two left, one left. Let's go along the shore. All right, so there it is guys. We are at our first location here and we're really, really hungry, but that's fine. This problem will be solved by eating a couple of pieces of bread and we're gonna set up base here tomorrow. Um, be back first thing in the morning uh, and then we'll start getting our concrete going we'll start getting all the stuff we need to get base going out to take all of this down uh, I don't want to be up this high I want to be at water level uh, well, actually one block up from water level um, for multiple reasons which we'll explain later that's going to give us some good resources it's got like nether stuff there so there's nether brick uh, nether rack soul sand a tumbleweed which you can break which I can't break apparently um, hate these tumbleweeds they are gonna be rolling into our base for the first little bit but if you break them sometimes you get some half decent stuff all right so ending the episode there guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, this is the first uh, episode of my invasion series we will go until the end until we can blast off into space um, so yeah that's kind of the goal of this pack is to build a rocket and get off this rock so we will go ahead and do that later. All right. So if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I got to try to do an invasion episode at least once a week, maybe more. Um, one or two times a week anyway. Um, so yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.